Hi everyone, it's Cindy A. Lewis and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. I appreciate you stopping by. I hope you enjoy the video tonight and you can check out my playlist and see what else I have. If you do like it, please subscribe. We'd love to have you as part of our YouTube family here on Cindy A. Lewis. If you're already a subscriber, thank you so much and I appreciate you coming back tonight to watch this video. Okay, so we did a part one and part two to create a junk journal with uh, envelopes. And these are just junk mail envelopes or old bill return mail envelopes. And we made them into uh, a junk journal. And I'll show you that real quick. Okay, so we took um, the, old, the larger ones that are just from junk mail and created this really beautiful journal for Mother's Day with all kinds of pockets and we use tags you can see here and we just used some papers and lace that I had around the house and then I had some of the viewers that have watched um, the channel and the videos the last few days say that they don't have these papers and they just weren't sure how to create a journal that's similar to this with what they had on hand. So I thought I would change it up a bit and just use some washi tape there on the center. And this folds out. It looks like a door, doesn't it? And then, you know, you have your belly bands and your pockets and whatever. And so then you can create and write and put your memories in there and you just have all kinds of fun. And make your own like little journal for, this is for Mother's Day. Okay, and that's what this one is for. And you can see how beautiful it is, and it's just out of these envelopes that you would throw away. Now these are the smaller ones, and I thought I would show you some ideas if you don't have scrapbook papers around your house or can't get out to get any. So with that in mind, I thought I would share with you, here I've put together and already glued my envelopes together. If you wanna know how to assemble that, you can look at my um, part one of the junk uh, journal from junk mail uh, envelopes. I have some ideas for you if you do not have scrapbook paper. So I have this old book, you can see I picked it up for 50 cents, probably at a, a yard sale or something. And I looked at some of my old books. So find a book or a magazine with pa papers in it that would you would like to cover your envelopes with. And then you need to find things that would be good, like this is really good and it's blank and I could use that. So I just take a blade or a pair of scissors and I just cut out the pages and then I will cut them to fit on my envelope. Okay, after you pull out the pages that you want, then you just have to figure out how they're gonna fit on here. So I need a cover for my junk journal. And if you look at the other one that I did, I put a closure sealed underneath with a tie, just like the one I just showed you here. Let me just pull it over here like this. And it is sealed underneath there. But this time, I'm just gonna use a headband. So you can see I've got all these headbands and I can choose whichever one I like. These are from the Dollar Tree. If sometimes you get five for dollars, sometimes you get three. So I'm just gonna open this one and measure it to see if it will fit my journal. And then that can be my closure. So I've got these three to choose from. And we'll see which one looks the best. But right now, I'm just gonna take this one and make sure that it'll fit around my journal. And it fits really nicely, and this can be my closure. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set that aside, and I know that I can use that. Now, the first thing that I'm gonna do is cover my front of my journal. And so I want this on the front, so I need something to go with it, and I need to trim it so that it fits on the front. Okay. 
Okay, to make the little insert inside the pocket, I cut a piece of this blue paper from one of the pages that I had and to fit. So I'm going to take the glue and just glue it on here and then slide it into that pocket. way and that's okay. Now I'm going to glue that down and then I'm going to put some washi on the edges to make it look like it was an old photo, you know, a, a little photo tabs. So I'm going to glue that down. So I took another page from the book, cut it to fit, and it's going to be the back of my journal. Now I've covered my front and my back, I've covered the inside cover, and I still have some pages to go. Now, what I need to do here is I need to cover this spine, and I can use any wash. I really like this contrasting color, and it's wider. All right, now I've got it started. And I'm going to take the washi and I'm going to put it a little bit halfway over the front because it is wider. And then I'm going to fold it this way and we'll cut this off where it needs to be cut to fit. And then fold it over the back just like that. And then if you need to trim the ends, then you can easily do so. Have a page out of this other book. I just wanted to show you that you can make the journal whatever you want it to be. All right, so now you would say, oh no, she messed it up. No, she didn't. All right, I can take this top part and trim it even with my paper, because the, the tape does stick. Like I told you in the other videos, the glue is very forgiving. All right, so now I've cut this, and what do I have? Put a pocket at the top. So now I have a pocket. I need to make sure that this is sealed. Now, I think what I'm going to do is take a strip of my double stick tape to put this side down so that the glue doesn't seep in and grab my little tag or whatever it is that I put in. Now remember not to throw away your papers. So here I have the scrap piece from this back. I'm just going to use this as my tag. Once you pull your double stick tape off, you would just slide it wherever you want it to be. All right, and then I can put a picture in here. I can stick anything in there. I also have this, I have this right here. And then if I need to cover the edge or anything, I can do that. I can also put a clip here. I can take any kind of um, clip and decorate it and put um, a clip there and we'll just keep going. So this is all we're gonna do tonight. We'll just call it part one of using what you have to embellish your junk journal. And we could even change this a bit if we want to. But use what you have, make it something special for you. And you can see how it totally changes the look just using what you have. You can even pull out some old game card pieces or playing cards anything just anything and so i hope that's inspired you to go and look at some old things that you don't need anymore to create your junk journal and i hope that you've enjoyed this one it's inspired you in some way and we'll talk again tomorrow thanks bye-bye <music>